Okay, so um, a friend of mine and I created this really cool clock. I think you're going to like it. Um, what it is, is it's a Rubik's Cube, and it shows the current time of day on the front of the clock. Um, every minute, all day long, um, it executes a few twists, maybe half a dozen. Most of the time it's uh, less than that, you know, a couple of twists and and updates to the new time of day, right? So right now it's uh, uh, 1.39 p.m., so correct time of day, where I am. Um, it, it's got an option, you can set it up, you can initialize the default to be, uh, you know, 24-hour uh, time or or 12-hour um, time. So in 24-hour time right now, it would show um, 13.39, um, right? So, um, so a couple of things. So it's a um, four inch display. Um, I 3D printed the box. Um, inside you can see the electronics. Um, you know, it's a Raspberry Pi 4 on the inside. Um, you know, nothing except the connector. You can, technically you could connect a uh, keyboard and mouse and stuff up to it but not much of a need too much you can you know it's also accessible through ssh and bnc if you need to uh, do some maintenance on the clock or whatever you up, do updates or you know that kind of thing but for the most part you just plug it in and it shows you the time of day that's what you want right for the clock um so a couple of features um so primarily, I just, I um, I did this. Um, I designed it for you know, just to sit on my desk um, next to me while I work or whatever, and kind of fun to uh, watch the time change uh, as uh, all day long. So pretty cool. Um, but you know, if if you um, it, but it's dimmable, all right. So um, you just press over here, right, and it changes that. So maybe, you know, you want to put it next to your nightstand and so you just press a couple of times and and uh, dims right down. Um, so good setting for the night. And then in the morning, you know, you press it again and it goes back to full brightness. Um, you know, pretty cool feature. Um, it, um, so it, it comes with a white stylus and you know, this white stylus is good, I, I right? There's the white stylus fits right in there in the slot. Um, I don't know. I if you, I thought you know I'm probably gonna lose that sometimes, so I 3D printed one. And you have your choice of colors. So if you you know if you like a different color, I kind of like blue. Um, or if you lost your stylus, then you can 3D print another one. But anyway, um, so that's mostly how you would do it it would just sit there and show you the time but there's a there's this little menu uh most of the time you don't really even need this but um you have the option right there's an options menu here eh, there we go okay so um so most of the stuff is just for fun just to, to you know you messing around with the clock um but a couple of but um if you want a 24 hour Right, if your default is 12 and you want to show a 24-hour clock, you can just press the button there, right? And it goes through all the sequences um, in black and white and um, to, to uh, solve the clock to the current time. And there it is. Now it's 13.43, right? It was, on a 12-hour version, it would show um, 1.43, you know, meaning... Um, 1:43 p.m. So, um, so that's one way. By default, um, during initialization, you can pick between 12-hour and 24-hour clock, and it, you know, figures that if you set your localization correctly before you initialize the clock, then it will give you that as your first option, or you know, it's overridable. Um, and so, you know, all of these other buttons are just kind of for fun, or if you want to play, um, you know, you can set the size of the cube. Um, 
you can, um, I don't know if you can see these options here. Oh yeah, so normally, right, I'll deselect that. Normally this is not checked, okay? So normally, uh, you mess around in here and it doesn't do anything. But if you want to, all right, if you select that, then you can like mess around. You can um, show the all the various cubes. All right, um, I just set it to the bigger cube just to see. So, you know, you can show the other sides of the cube uh, if you're interested in the numbers over there, whatever. Um, now, okay, so, oh, that's the notations, so it should flash. Now, it also shows, right, there's a menu option to show you which is front and back. If you got kind of got lost in where, right, the, the clock is showing, the numbers on the front are the current time of day. All right, so that, um, you know, just kind of from some fun, some fun stuff. But in the menu, you can switch between uh, 12 hour and 24 hour time. Now, one really cool thing about this clock is, it is also a web server, right? So uh, right now, right? So basically, um, I can tell my friends or, you know, it's fun for myself to, uh, go, right? It, the name of the host name, if you're familiar with computers, is rubrics-clock. You can name it wherever you want, but, you know, it seems like appropriate name. But, um, so basically I just tell my friends to go to rubrics-clock.local. Um, that's a pretty common, um you know, for inside your house. It doesn't broadcast outside your house. I mean, you could set it up that way, but it doesn't do that normally. Um, and, um, but usually you just take hostname.local. So um, basically I just tell my friends to go to rubrics dash, rubrics clock dash local. Rubrics dash clock dot local is kind of a good name for it. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I noticed that it's, it uh, comes up on the web pages, the default for the system, which is um, AM, PM, so it's, you know, 146 on my iPhone, even though it shows uh, 1346 on the uh, clock itself. So, you know, it just, um, you know, it's kind of nice. So, um, now I've... You know, I've made my changes and whatnot. Uh, if you, um, so, you know, that's whatever. Um, so basically, you know, the easiest way to reset it to get back to where you, you know, the, or is just basically just power it off. All right. Power back on. Okay. And it goes through um, all the sequences. So, um, just starting up the uh, Raspberry Pi computer on the inside. Normally, Raspberry Pi would show a Raspberry Pi symbol right there, the splash screen. I changed it to Rubik's Cube, so, you know, kind of fun. Um, you know, just a little touch there. I was going through it. Just, it, it takes maybe about a minute to... Uh, completely uh, start everything up and it um, goes right to some fun graphics we'll see in a minute All right starts it up 12 00 is means midnight so it's what it's doing is solving the clock from midnight to the current time of day takes a bunch of twists but uh, not not too bad and then there we are so it is now 148. Right, and remember when we set it, you know, when we, just before we powered it down, it said 13.48 or 13.46 probably. Um, and then, um, but now it's, it's back to its uh, native 
thing. The 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 settings on the on the menu don't actually set it permanently, so um, you you want to when you initialize the clock, it will be correct, and you know, and it continues to work here on the iPhone. Um, so that's about it. Kind of fun.